my name is Keith and I was diagnosed a couple of years ago with uh, young onset dementia and we're reaching out to really our community today to really help educate that you can learn to live well with dementia uh, if you get the right education about what it is and what it's not um, as well as if you're supported by your wife, your dog, your family and your work friends uh, to you know continue your successes and try and be as uh, independent as you can or as long as you can but really it's about uh, uh, really educating ourselves as to what it is and isn't and, and it, our story I think is important um, because we want to help break the stigma as we experience ourselves. You know I think it's really important for people to understand that there's a long time between the time you're diagnosed and the time where you re require support and I think most people go to the end of Alzheimer's disease versus recognizing that someone can contribute um, in their community, in their society, in their family for a long time before those things change to that dramatic level. I, I think it's important for people to know that our society has to recognize and um, invest in proper diagnosis, a more uh, definitive diagnosis of, of dementia as well as uh, better funding uh, for programs and services and supports for those that are under age 65. Young onset is, is, is relatively new, but that number is going to increase and, and we have to make sure that the, the right services and supports are, are, uh, are available on that. And I think that people need to get involved with their um, the local Alzheimer's Society so that they can make uh, help with the fundraising so that they can get the better research as well as making sure that the right programs and services are, are, are there when you need them. When you've met one person with dementia, you've met one person with dementia. Every single person is different and everyone will go through the experience differently.